Hey fitness friends, Coach Andres here with the Strength Cave. In last week's video, I talked to you guys about how you can use training deloads to help you dissipate stress and fatigue. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how you can increase your resiliency to stress so that you don't let it kill your gains. So now more than ever, you may be feeling the impact of stress in your life from an unforeseen pandemic to political turmoil and maybe even some personal issues that you may be dealing with, this last year has probably been pretty tough. There's a lot of speculation that stress could be at the root cause of a lot of chronic illnesses like cancer and heart disease. And living in a state of chronic stress definitely isn't gonna do us any favors in the gym either. That's why it's so important for us to recognize how stress can impact us and do what we can to mitigate it. Before I forget, make sure that you're subscribed if you're watching this on YouTube and giving me a follow on Instagram. That way you're the first to know about all of my educational videos. Now, before I demonize it entirely, I think it's important to explain that stress isn't always a bad thing. In fact, the general adaptation syndrome model tells us that stress should help us to grow stronger and more resilient. When we go through a stressful event, an alarm reaction is triggered in the brain, which releases certain hormones into the body, which help us to resist the effects of that stress. Then when the stressor is gone, we become more resilient. So that way we are better able to deal with that stressor again in the future. This last bit is called the recovery period, and it's arguably the most important part of the whole stress cycle. The problem is that you may not be experiencing all of the benefits of the recovery period because you're constantly bombarded by life stressors that leave you no chance to catch your breath and actually recover. And it's this chronic exposure to stressors that can actually then lead to a decrease in resiliency. Higher than normal stress hormones in circulation can start to lead to inflammation and a breakdown in our physiology leading to health issues over time. Sadly, the impact of chronic stress on our body and health can be hard to recognize because it takes a really long time for these issues to actually appear. But this isn't necessarily the case when it comes to our fitness. Given your high level of awareness to your health and fitness, you're most likely much more attuned to your body's warning signs. Research has shown that people who are under a high amount of stress have a much harder time recovering between workouts and take a much longer time to recover between workouts. Additionally, one study which followed subjects for 12 weeks showed that those who reported low stress in their life gained significantly more strength over that 12 week period than those who reported a high amount of stress in their life. This makes it really important to recognize the warning signals and do what you can to mitigate the stress so that way you can continue training hard and get all the benefits that exercise has to offer. Of course, there's no way to shelter yourself completely from life stressors, so the trick is doing what you can to lessen the impact that it has. And here are the tips that I like to give my clients when it comes to helping them deal with their stress. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you're getting enough high quality sleep each and every night. We're all familiar with how cranky we can get after just one night of bad sleep. And doing this time and time again is definitely going to decrease our ability to deal with stress, let alone recover from our workouts. Next, you're gonna to wanna to stay vigilant in recognizing the signs and symptoms that you may be getting overstressed. This would be things like getting sick more often, feeling lethargic and depressed, having a really big change in your appetite, or just feeling a lot more aches and pains and injuries, when you do start to feel these symptoms more often, it may be a sign that it's time for a deload. This is a topic that I covered in my last video, and I'll leave the link in the description below, so that way you can learn more about how you can properly implement a deload in your training program. Another awesome way to keep stress at bay would be to implement some sort of mindfulness practice. This could be through yoga, which has been shown to have really great effects on our mood and our ability to cope with stress. Or it could be from meditation, which has been shown to decrease anxiety and depression while also being able to increase your ability to cope with stress. 
you also can't discount the value in spending time with friends, family, and loved ones. Having a social support system is one of our most important basic human needs, and it definitely is very beneficial in dealing with our stress. And of course, engaging in hobbies and activities that make you happy is also very beneficial. Going to the gym is a perfect example of this, but you should also have other activities and hobbies that you can do outside of the gym so that you have other things to rely on when working out isn't an option. All right guys, so as you can see, stress is something that we really need to get a handle on so that way we can avoid the negative effects that it can have on our body. As much as we like to think of them as separate systems, our mind and body are deeply connected. So taking care of both our mind and our body is crucial if we want to feel great, work out hard, and live a long and healthy life. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and that you're following me on Instagram. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys next time.